Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to talk about Australian cybersecurity. So I thought I'd make this video because I haven't really seen too much information out there about cybersecurity in Australia and a couple of other people were basically telling me that I always make videos about uh, the US cybersecurity scene and being from Australia, it sort of made sense to make this video as well. So what I want to talk about here is things like the salaries, where most of the jobs are, and what sort of certifications you need to get into a bunch of different jobs. So the first thing that I'll talk about is salaries. Now, salaries across Australia are pretty much the same. Um, it sort of relies more on where you're going to get a job and if it's private industry or government. So private industry does definitely pay more than government. However, there are rewards that come with being a government employee that are worth talking about as well. There's also some other benefits like the work-life balance in general is much better. However, you do take a bit of a pay cut because of that as well as your job security, which is also usually quite a bit higher than private industry. So for most positions, you're looking at uh, 80,000 as an entry level, up to around 90, 95 for mid-level, and then your level three upwards, so anything from like an engineer's position or even working in a SOC team, you're looking at six figures, so over $100,000. If you were to work as a contractor for government like I was, you can earn anywhere from $120,000 to $150,000, maybe even more, it depends what you're doing and which agency or wherever you're working pays. It also depends on your experience and your certifications uh, as to how much you're going to get paid. So I guess a typical person who has maybe like three to five years experience in cybersecurity or IT in general. Um, so anything that maybe they were like a, a sysadmin before or a network engineer um, and they've got three to five years experience of doing that and then moving into doing cybersecurity roles, you're going to be looking at $100,000 give or take five to ten thousand dollars so it's they're pretty good wages to be honest um, a lot of like I, I can't remember what the average wage across Australia is but I'm pretty sure a hundred thousand dollars is well over average for most of the people that I know they sort of earn and this is not IT related just general life related they're earning anywhere between 60 to eighty five thousand dollars a year so being able to go from like a three to five year experience job as a sysadmin, which I'm pretty sure sysadmins are averaging around somewhere between 50 and $80,000 a year to the more senior sysadmin guys who are earning 80 to 100 to cybersecurity, which is earning sort of 90 to 100 and something thousand. It's a pretty good, pretty good job. Now, most of the positions that I've seen recently are in Canberra or Sydney. And this is because of the uh, sort of government employment scheme that they're trying to get going on uh, in those southern areas. And it's, you sort of want to get into cybersecurity desperately, you should definitely start looking at these two locations as places to work from. A lot of the jobs in these areas are government roles and a lot of them aren't contract roles. So you'll be looking for a lot of stuff like Department of Defense who and they're going to require things like X amount years of experience, a few certifications in IT, not specifically in cybersecurity though, they're willing to skill people up and then they'll get you through doing um, like your negative vetting one and whatever else is needed to do that position. Sometimes they're also willing to help you move so they'll throw in like a relocation bonus and sometimes they even give you somewhere to stay, especially if you're going to Canberra because let's face it, not too many people want to go to Canberra. The average pay for a position like this is um, usually around 80 to 100,000 from what I've seen. And a lot of the recruiters who have hit me up through uh, LinkedIn and asking me to advertise to my network for these positions are offering you know, around 90 to 100,000. So I thought I'd throw it out there to 80 to 100,000 just because there are some lower paying positions as well. But yeah, most of them are government positions. The other positions down there, in especially in Sydney, are private industry who are contracting their employees to the government. And they're basically just making bank out of it and uh, yeah, selling your time 
to make themselves more money, which is fine because it gives you an opportunity to get a job. So I guess the next question is what is the most common sort of position that's occurring in Canberra and Sydney? Um, I'd love to mention Melbourne, but Melbourne seems to be a little bit dry and Brisbane is all about private industry at the moment. There's not a lot of government work here for cybersecurity professionals unless you want to work for um, DAF or, or some other government agency. Your other option is to work for places like MOQ, which I can't remember what they stand for, or any of the other uh, MSPs out there who are offering a cybersecurity offering to businesses and a lot of their work to be honest is just like firewall migration and network security stuff it's not cyber security as such it's more just network security so yeah back to the most sought after positions the ones i see the most are cyber security engineer which is a very broad title as well as cyber security analyst which again is a very broad title i think they throw out these really broad position descriptions because they don't really know what they're looking for to be honest it's such a, a new thing in Australia to have cybersecurity professionals in an organization that they, they're grabbing anyone who was previously a sysadmin or network engineer still and throwing them into these cybersecurity positions and the like places like Department of Defense and ASIO and wherever else in the government are really pushing hard to get as many people in as they can. Which is good for you guys because it means that they're also willing to pay for certifications and maybe pay a little bit more than what you were previously getting paid as a sysadmin or net admin or whatever it is you're doing before in IT. They all, from what I've seen so far, all of the positions I've seen require prior IT experience. They don't say what IT experience, but most of the places I've talked to and the ones that I've previously done interviews with always ask for networking knowledge and basic Windows Enterprise knowledge. So they're not going to be offensive security roles as such. Most of them I would say are in SOC teams as a defensive security position. So you're going to be helping out with their migration projects themselves. So network security type roles as well as some like systems hardening and then from there, they're going to sort of sort you out into where you want to go, where they can offer you a position in more specific areas. Like maybe they want to put you into malware analysis or code review for particular projects or, you know, the, there's such a, a vast amount of roles in cybersecurity as a whole that they're just going to find somewhere for you to go and they just want to throw as many people into that main cybersecurity bucket first and then mix them up and find out where they can go or where they want to go. So yeah, that's that's basically cybersecurity in Australia at a glance. Um, I'll quickly go over everything again though, which is that most of the jobs are in Canberra and Sydney. They average around about $100,000 a year for most positions and there are an absolute shitload of positions out there to go for. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get to you as soon as I can. Add me on Discord, jump on my Discord server there and have a chat. I'm always happy to have a chat with you there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next videos guys. Catch you later.